Hey guys, my name's Bryson from Kangaloaders. Uh, today I'm just going to go through a few features and benefits of this particular model. Uh, this one's our 2 Series, or the model name is a KK216. I guess its biggest feature of this particular model is its size and accessibility. We're in the age of, of blocks getting smaller and smaller, um, and access is an issue. So this model is uh, designed for those narrow access areas, being 800 millimetres wide, machine and bucket. Now I'm going to highlight one of the features and the benefits uh, with the 2 Series, uh, which will be the self-levelling bucket. The principle behind it, when we go into a pile of dirt and we crowd the bucket back, once you lift the loader arms up and down, the bucket self levels and doesn't stay stationary when you get to the top point and all the material falls back on itself. So the bucket will literally self level as it comes up and down. When you have a full bucket of soil or material and have the bucket crowded back, it creates the same ground clearance under the bucket as what the loader has without lifting the arm. Uh, this particular model is the KK. Uh, 216 which is the Kanga Kid wheeled. Um, there's a couple of different variants with wheels you, you, you can get. Uh, this has the lug turf uh, combo tyre um, which has a bit of a combination of a uh, little bit of lug for, for ease of digging and then but not too aggressive. You can get just a pure turf tyre which is better for turf care and, and doesn't screw up the ground as much when you're turning on turf and then we also have the TK216 which is the track version um, and it has the wrap around tracks um, and it has more grip better flotation okay in our new 2 series loader we have the uh, 16 horsepower Vanguard engine fitted I'll just first thing is the ease of workability on the engine I'll just open the hood and show you how easy it is to, to access everything undo this tie bolt, fold the engine back and as you can see fuel filter here easy to access and all the engine um, engine oil dipstick and filler is all really easy to access. Okay now I'm just going to talk about our soft touch controls and what each individual lever actually does. So on the far left here as you're standing on the loader you've got the main arm up and down so towards you lifts up, pushing it away, drops down. This lever here is our auxiliary lever and four and one lever. So in this case, if you have the four and one bucket on, this way opens, that way closes. Um, if you had a trencher or a auger drive, something like that on there, holding that back into position drives the trencher in the, uh, or the auger drive in the forward position and pushing it away reverses it. Then these two levers are the actual drive levers for the loader. So this particular lever is for the left side, this one's for the right, obviously forward, makes the loader go forward, reverse that way. Um, and then finally on the far right, this lever is the crowd of the bucket, so you can crowd the bucket backwards or forwards. Further on to our controls, um, especially when you're a new operator, all the decals here clearly um, stipulate what lever does what um, so arm up and down auxiliary forward reverse drive forward reverse same with the left drive forward reverse and then the tilt or the crowd on the front decal at here it, it also highlights some do's and don'ts another good feature with our auxiliary lever is when you're operating the loader you manually hold it in to run the trencher or auger drive if you step off the loader, it stops that particular attachment from working, so you can't go around and play with the trencher or the auger drive spinning. You can only operate it from on the machine, so it's just a safety feature. If you jump off the machine, it goes back to neutral and you can't get caught up in an attachment. Uh, for just cold starts on the, on the engine, you've got your, your choke here, so you engage your choke, start the engine, turn the choke off and then you've got your throttle here to rev the engine up or rev it back. 
Now I'm just going to talk about the actual drive system of the loader. In the wheel version we have two hydraulic wheel motors left and right in the rear with a chain drive to the front. All our bigger loaders are four hydraulic wheel motors but in the two series they're just two hydraulic wheel motors which has the drive in the back. You can see the chain goes through, links onto a cog onto the front and the little white blocks you can see here are the chain tensioners that can keep the tension on the chain. In the track version it's a little bit different, we don't have that chain and the tensioner system. The track wraps around the tyre and links the front and rear wheel motors together. Just uh, on the 2 Series here is our um, hydraulic fluid filler point and dipstick. Um, so all it is is the unscrew the dipstick. On here is there's a, a cold and a hot mark. So if you're checking the fluid cold, the full mark is there. If you're checking it when it's hot, the, the full mark is there. Obviously the oil expands when it's hot, so that's why there's two different uh, marks, whether it's cold or hot. One other feature with the 2 Series is the actual hydraulic tank capacity. The hotter the fluid becomes, the less performance you get out of your attachments. So with the 2 Series we have a approximately 50 litre hydraulic tank which helps with the cycle time of the hydraulic fluid. If you only had say a 20 litre tank, the fluid cycles through the machine a lot more and heats up a lot more. So with a 50 litre tank it helps with the cooling. Okay guys, this, that's about a wrap on the features and benefits on the Kanga 2 Series. If you require any more information on either product in the tractor wheel version, contact your nearest Kanga Loaders dealership and speak to your relevant representative. If you like any of these videos, please make sure you follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn or YouTube and hope to see you soon.